Nitrogen is an essential element for plants and animals. It's needed to make protein and DNA. 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen gas, but nitrogen is very unreactive and can't be used directly by plants or animals. It needs to be converted into nitrates before most plants can use it. Nitrates in the soil are absorbed by the roots of plants, which then build them up into complex proteins. These tomato plants have been grown in different concentrations of nitrate solution for the same amount of time, but they look quite different. With enough nitrate, the plant is healthy. It's grown tall and bushy. As the nitrate concentration decreases, so too does the health of the plant. So where does the nitrate present in the soil come from? Lightning provides a small amount. It converts nitrogen gas present in the atmosphere directly into nitrates. A more reliable way of increasing the nitrate content of soil is to add fertilizer. Inorganic fertilizer contains nitrates which can be absorbed by plants straight away. Organic fertilizer, like manure, contains dead animal and plant material. As it decays, it releases nitrogen compounds into the soil. A range of bacteria break down the proteins in manure and convert them to ammonium compounds. Ammonium ions contain nitrogen and hydrogen, but for most plants to be able to build up proteins, these need to be converted to nitrates. This is carried out by nitrifying bacteria. Another process involves nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These take up atmospheric nitrogen. Nitrogen-fixing bacteria exist free in the soil or in the roots of certain plants, like clover. Special nitrogen-fixing bacteria, called rhizobium, live in tiny nodules on the roots. The bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonium ions and eventually proteins. To show the existence of these bacteria, the outer surface of the nodules must first be sterilised so that only the rhizobium bacteria inside the nodule are alive. After washing in bleach and rinsing with water, a glass rod is used to crush the nodules and liberate the bacteria inside. A loop of wire is heated in a flame to make it completely sterile. It's then dipped into the bacteria and transferred to a sterile plate containing agar. After a few days incubation, the rhizobium has multiplied and is now visible. <laughs>